Hello friends and Twitter, Renee here bringing you your daily tarot reading for Thursday the 15th of July 2021. We're halfway through the month already and today I am working with the gorgeous and the amazing tarot of trees. I love this deck. Um, it really is a special deck to me and I know I say about all my decks that I love them but this one really is special. So let's get straight into the reading and see what is the energy of the day. What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of today? So the first card we have is the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is quite a quite an interesting card because it's about being defensive. It's about holding back. It's about resisting and, and almost fighting something that's not really there. So what we have here is we have a whole bunch of trees sort of blocking an, an, an entrance to a town, isn't it? Um, so we've got these mountain passes on either side, and then we've got all these homes and all these houses here. And you can see it looks like all the trees have been chopped already, but it's almost like the trees are moving, but it's almost like we are feeling as if we're backed into a corner. So it's like the trees have been moving away because they're so afraid of getting chopped down. They're so afraid Afraid of being you know uh, taken out at the bottom so they're bunching together because they strength in numbers and then they're sort of backing away they're trying to protect themselves and they're trying to move away from the people or the perceived danger let's call it that the perceived danger so seven of wands is the card of protection it's the card of being defensive it's the card of standing up for yourself and it's the card of being almost nervous about the perceived dangers I keep saying the word perceived because that's exactly what the card is all about. You know, what you're perceiving as the danger might not actually be dangerous for you. It might not actually be a problem. Maybe there was a reason why these trees were taken down and it wasn't just for, for you know, firewood. Maybe they were maybe they were ill. Maybe they were dead. Maybe they were damaged. Who knows what the story is? But it's the perceived danger that we are responding to. And today, for Thursday, you've got to be very aware of what are your perceived dangers? What are you reacting to, responding to that maybe, yeah, maybe isn't so valid or isn't so legit? What are the perceived dangers that you are reacting to today? And when you identify what the perceived danger is, you need to then Stop and ask yourself, okay, so am I actually in danger? Is it actually a problem? Is it actually something I need to be nervous about? Is it something that I need to be cautious about? Or am I seeing it, imagining it, perceiving it in a worse kind of way than what it truly is? So it's about being honest with yourself. And again, I know this is a highly charged emotional week. Every reading this week has been like that. And um we can't ignore our, our, our perceptions. We can't ignore our fears. And I do think this week there's a lot of emotion. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of insecurities that are going to be coming up for every single one of us. And we need to we need to stand tall, as tall as these trees are. We need to stand tall. We need to come together. But we also need to just, before we allow ourselves to succumb to perceived threats, perceived dangers, perceived anything, let's just check to see how real and how valid and how legit that situation is before we respond. Let's have a look and see what the next card is. Okay, so here we have the Four of Swords, and the Four of Swords in traditional tarot is the, sword, is the card of selling you rest, recuperation, pause, wait, do nothing. Okay, um, so the Four of Swords is basically saying to you, when you identify the perceived danger, when you when you identify what this perceived threat is that you are responding to, instead of trying to fix it, instead of trying to make it better, instead of trying to understand it, do nothing. Just pause. Just wait. Just wait it out and see. Because you've got to realize that you've been almost hyperventilating, holding your breath anxious for the longest time. And you've got to give yourself a chance to rest. You've got to give yourself a chance to... <sighs> To exhale and once you've exhaled and once you've sort of released the tension then we can re-evaluate and decide on our next move but it's important that we give give ourselves permission to catch our breaths and to breathe we mustn't feel like we just have to go 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 all the time and and especially because this situation has been going on for the longest time and stress the stress the anxiety the pressure of this is certainly taking its toll. So today, we're going to be aware of our perceived threats. We're going to be aware of our perceived situations. We're going to be mindful of them. And then we're going to just stop. 
once we've identified, we're going to stop. We're going to pause. We're going to breathe. We're going to just give our body. We're going to sort of release the tension in the shoulders and the jaw. Just sort of just exhale and just catch your breath for a minute. And the last card we have today is the High Priestess. Isn't she gorgeous? So she is full moon, new moon, all of that rolled into one. She is carrying, it looks like little apples, um, which is abundance, which is fruit, which is nourishment, which is nutrition, which is all of that. She is also per perfectly positioned between polar opposites, okay? And she is quite comfortable in who she is and what she is. High Priestess is the card of knowledge. It's the card of intuition. It's the card of inner knowing. But it's also the card of inner trust. And I honestly think, based on where you've come from, based on where you're moving to, this is the key for us today. And this card here, the Four of, War the Four of Swords, is saying to you, just give yourself permission to just be today. Don't feel like you have to prove anything to anybody. Don't feel like you have to do anything for anybody. Actually, today, you can just exhale and just breathe and know within your heart and soul know that it's okay know within your heart and soul that nobody is expecting anything different from you nobody is putting any kind of pressure on you you are putting pressure on yourself and you've got to give yourself permission to release that pressure today and the high priestess says you know that the high priestess is telling you that you're very aware of, of what you're doing to yourself, the pressure you're putting on yourself and all of that. And you need to give yourself permission today to not be so defensive, to not always expect everything to be a perceived threat, to not always see the bad of everything, but to give yourself permission to exhale, to de-stress. I love the colors in the background here. And to just know that everything's going to be okay. Because you know what, friends? It is. It is going to be okay. It absolutely is going to be okay. And you've got to know that. In your heart of hearts, in your soul of souls, you've got to know that it's going to be okay. You don't have to be so defensive all the time. All right, I'm going to leave it there. With love and blessings, as always, from my heart to yours, have an awesome, amazing, fabulous Thursday. Take care.